Today's notes, phylum echinoderms. Phylum echinoderms, meaning spiny skin. <laughs> Examples, I put down two or three sea cucumbers, brittle stars, sea urchins, uh, sea stars, starfish, same thing. These are all examples of echinoderms. Um, some characteristics, they have no backbone. They're still invertebrates. They have a radial symmetry, no matter how you, you cut them, fold them, okay? Um, you're gonna have multiple um, ways of symmetry. And they have a water vascular system, which um, basically um, they're going to suck water in um, and use differences in pressure to, to make themselves move. Um, these starfish are going to have five or more legs. Sometimes they're called arms, sometimes they're called legs. Um, they have these things called two feet, which are these little finger-like um, things you'll see in a couple of videos on the website that um, they kind of pull themselves around. They can stick to things. Um, they can grab things with these little two feet. There are um, thousands of tiny little tube feet. I won't worry too much about that. Feeding, I'd write this down. They're gonna eat a lot of soft body things, oysters, clams, worms, dead organisms, um, soft bodied things. Um, how they do this is kind of, kind of cool. Um, so their opening, their mouth, is underneath, okay? So um, they got the, the arms or the legs, and then underneath is, in the middle, is the opening. And what they actually do is they force their stomach out of their opening, out of their mouth, and their stomach wraps around whatever it is they're trying to eat and begins digesting it outside of there. It makes this, like, uh, kind of enzyme that starts breaking it down making it soft and soupy, and um, then they'll pull it into their body. So they start the whole digestive pro process outside of their bodies, um, which is kind of cool. Um, you can see that um, on a couple videos that I have posted. Also, uh, reproduction. <laughs> They're gonna use sexual reproduction. Females can lay tons and tons of eggs a year. How this works. <laughs> so sexual reproduction, we got the sperm and the egg, okay? Um, they're not going to meet up um, and like have a date or anything like that and mate. Um, what they're going to do is the female is going to lay eggs in some places, okay? Maybe along some rocks or um, somewhere where it thinks it's safe. A male is going to come along, it's going to see those eggs, and it's going to squirt sperm on them. And then um, many of them will be fertilized. Um, most fish do this this way. Um, the female will lay a bunch of eggs in places, the male will come along, um, and probably multiple males will come around, along, um, squirt sperm on the eggs, and um, they will never meet each other. Um, the, um, the point of this basically is, <laughs> is if females making all these eggs, they're not expecting them all to live, to get fertilized and survive. What happens is, they lay uh, thousands or thousands or millions of eggs and they hope that one or two of them reaches adulthood. Some of them are not going to get fertilized. Some of them, many of them will be eaten before they hatch. Some of them will hatch. And uh, then be eaten soon after. Um, so they're not expecting like two million eggs to turn into um, two million full grown um, starfish. They're expecting very few. Um, some mammals do this as well. Mice and rats have tons and tons of babies. They know that a lot of them are going to get eaten or killed in some way. Rabbits do this. They basically just throw a ton of babies out there and hope that a couple of them survive to be adults. Uh, starfish can do this thing called regeneration, which is an asexual uh, reproduction. Um, they can regrow arms if they're cut off. Um, and if they're cut um, part of the central disc, they can grow a whole new starfish. So you see this picture, um, one gets ripped off, and over here that arm is growing uh, new little arms here. Um, 
when we used to di dissect starfish, there were a couple of years where there was um, some arms missing um, that got cut off um, and they were actually starting to regrow. So it was kind of cool to look at. But that's regeneration. Um, I think that's all I have for you. There we go.